one for two. Hyderabad, the top of the table. Slip in place, here we go. First ball of the reply and it goes for four. So he gets his line and length wrong early. Hyderabad are off with a bang. That's wrong line and length, wasn't it? Helps it's on its way and when you've got short fine leg, you've got no chance. Slip out, mid-wicket in place. Oh, what pickup, what pickup that is. Very, very impressive shot, that one. Jeez, this boy can bat. Yeah, he had pace to work with, didn't he? Really like the look of that. Welcome to the crease, Arbaz. They've not uh, been that consistent, the Larkana challenges. Uh, we're looking to a man like Omed to do something special. Oh, it was a really nice bit of timing for Hassan. And Disappointing from the fielders. Don't want to give a man like this any opportunity. And this is uh, really disappointing. It's poor. Oh, he's on the pull, and I think he's found the gap. Yep, he has. He swatted that away. It was short, and it wasn't really high enough. You need to be special to be playing that sort of a shot. Look at that. Placement also, there is a fielder placed. Played it squarer and almost got it for six. Talk about variation in this game. Oh, it's pulled it nicely. Nicely, very nicely, in fact. Right between the two for four. Watch the eyes here. Watch good players of spin. Just wait that extra split second, and as soon as that was slightly short, he was onto it. Like a flash. He'll have to stay, but this is what he does. He does go all the way. Fantastic hit. As soon as you give ball some air, these batters, they're going to punish you. As soon as the bowler just went above the eye line, he climbed in, didn't he? Yeah, it was all timing. Those long levers of Nawaz. Nicely played. He wanted to blow a, bowl a slow one, but it was width provided to Hassan Nawaz and he made full use of it there's an opportunity provided by Hassan Nawaz and nicely taken at short fine leg ball a slow bouncer there's no pace on it Kashif Bhatti the experience that draft this opportunity. Hassan Nawaz goes for 23. Exactly, as well, you're absolutely right. And uh, but uh, I think he's gone there. That's a wicket again. A final uh, double strike in his second over. Yeah, that was again the ball which was trying for a Yorker, but turned into a full toss. But the batsman. Completely missed. He was plumbed, plumbed probably middle stump, middle stump, middle and off stump. Has about 38 for two. Very deceptive. And once again we see his deception and this will be an easy take. The point fielder comes in and takes an easy catch. Third wicket is down. And uh, further trouble for Hyderabad. High points, doesn't he? And um, but he hits that leg. And he has these subtle variations there again, taking pace off it, that sort of leg cutter. Just leaving the right-hander who was looking to turn it onto the onside and gets a leading edge, a good catch in the end. Rohel Nazir disappointingly goes for four. One last thing I'd like to ask you is about the entry, because now we've made it all for the people of Karachi. It's <laughs> all free people. You can just come in and enjoy the matches. Since Premier League right now uh, is the talk of the town as well. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they should come. It's so much on show. It's been great to, to see some young players and other players come through. Goes big. I don't think he gets all of it. Oh, a very good catch. Excellent catch. Oh, he's delighted with that. Yes, uh, young man, Hassan Mohsen. Uh, not the emerging category, but still very young boy. And he has taken a great catch. Just watch that in the replay. The batter trying to go for a big hit and uh, didn't middle it. See that he keeps a still head eye on the ball and uh, takes the catch as he slides and then stands up in jubilation. 
So Sarwar Afridi is gone. He made 19 of 19 deliveries. This one is hit well and over for six. Mehran not wasting any time. He's uh, he's seen enough, I think. He's played the whole season, toured with the Pakistan A teams, and straight away in the right zone, banging one. <laughs> Wanted to be cheeky again. And he's claiming that he, the keeper has dislodged the, the bales. But I definitely heard the sound of the stumps. It's definitely going upstairs, this. Here we see. Uh, no. Yeah, he did. They stripped the stump, the off stump. That's it. The scene, the scene finally came out. Hyderabad lost their fifth wicket for 84 runs. Mehran Ramtaz walking back to the pavilion. He made 17 of 9. Another chance for the catch, and it's been taken as well. It's all going wrong at the moment for Hyderabad. Larkana dugout is so much happy at the moment now. They can see the victory. Again, a strong, a responsible shot. Basically, there was no requirement for this because they are very much within the target. But uh, then again, the straight hit straight to the fielder and well taken. Again, uh, Hyderabad is making a mistake by going for big shots, which is not exactly needed at the moment. It's a big hit. It's clear all the way. It's a very, very good shot. Just a little bit short of length, and he just backed it between Midon and Midwicket. Nicely struck. It wasn't that short, but he went onto the back foot and smashed it over Midwicket. It's another good shot and found the boundary again. Didn't middle it. Hassan Mosin tried. Hassan Mosin tried his best. This that was a very good effort by the fielder, Hassan. And unfortunately, he just wasn't in control of stopping the ball and just glided over his hand to the boundary. This is what now required. Another boundary. They targeted this over and finished the over with the boundary as well. Another slower one, but this time very smartly played. Just guiding it down to the third for boundary. That's well played by Ahmed Danyal. And Ahmed and Akasha both playing really well. Oh, as I say, well, he's just top edged one. That's an easy catch for Kurum. Iron Man strikes. It was the quicker one and uh, didn't have enough time to do. Yes. Or it just hit the bottom of the bat. It just hit the bottom. And this is that sort of a pitch because of its uh, rough stop. Ahmad Daniel goes for 13. 33 of 20 required. And it's 109 for 7. Pair of batting and this one has been sliced and it's the third coming and it's a good catch taken by the fielder over there. So one more down, seven wickets down now, 112 and a very satisfied looking coach. Once again, full straight and Ali Shafiq in no position to hit it. Ali Shafiq scoring one run, 112 for eight. connected that all right all the way great connection by Akasha talk about stroke of luck and this is a stroke of authority long way back just look at that fully extended arms long livers and he makes an excellent connection oh nice nice impressive straight down the ground for another boundary he's doing it he's trying he's fighting that's what you need to see. That's it. Done. Bold. Middle stump. That's what Iron Man can do. What a captain should be doing. Leading by example. Bowls a perfect Yorker. 
when the, within the stumps. Just have a look at that. The batter came out and uh, scored one and nine down. And it's 123 for nine. 18 runs, 10 deliveries, a cash on strike. Come on, Ahmed. Let's bowl him a little bit outside the off stump, maybe. And yes, he's hit it hard. And this one is a chance. The fielder is under it. And it's job done by the captain. As expected, change of pace a bit on the off stump. And it wasn't easy to get the ball from there and deposit it over the leg side boundary. So victory there for Team Larkana. Youngsters, the bench strength has have done the job. He did it on himself. Akash had no choice. He had to go big. He had to go for those runs. Pressure cash. And gladly, it's Kashi Bhatti, the experienced man underneath. Hyderabad Bahadurs were bundled out on 124 inside 18.3 overs. Let's have a look at the batting card. 23 runs scored by Hassan, 19 by Sarwar Afridi, 17 runs were contributed by Mehran Mumtaz, 13 by Ahmed. Akasha did try a few lusty blows in the end for his 22 runs, but this effort was not enough to win the game. It was a great effort in the bowling by Larkana challengers, led by the captain himself, Umed Asif, took four wickets for 18 runs. Irfanullah Shah, with all his experience, took three wickets, giving away 20 runs. One wicket for Kashi Bhatti and two for Etazaz as they won the game and bowled out the opponents in 18.3 overs. Let's have a quick look at the match summary. Larkana challenges batting first and posted 141 runs as they were bowled out in 20 overs. Khuram Jakwal scored 31 runs, Mubassar contributing 29 runs, Misbillah also scoring 24. Mehran Mumtaz in the bowling got two wickets, Zoheb also getting two, Ahmed also two wickets giving away seven runs. And in reply, Hyderabad Bahadurs were bundled out on just 124 runs in 18.3 overs. Hassan, Akasha and Sever did chip in, chip in, but that effort was not enough as Umed Asif, the captain himself, leading from the front, took four wickets. Irfanullah Shah also getting three and Itazaz getting two wickets as Larkana won the game by 17 runs. At the end of the league matches, let's have a look at the points table. It's Mirpur Khas who's leading the chart with five matches. They won four, lost just one with eight points. And number two, it's Hyderabad Bahadurs who's played five, won four, lost one, got eight points. But net run rate is below Mirpur Khas. Karachi Ghazis who's got the momentum are on third position after having three wins and got six points. Larkana challenges five games. Won three, lost two, got six points. And it's Benazirabad Lals and Sakha Patriots, the two team, to go out of the league as they get only one point in this tournament. Hope you've enjoyed our highlights. Until next time, it's goodbye.